Organizers of a job fair are looking for thousands of good men and women who have served our country and are in need of jobs. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards explains the event that targets veterans in Detroit. Detroit was specifically selected by the VA because of the high number of vets and the high number of unemployment. 800,000 to be exact in the state, more than 300,000 living in the Detroit metro area. Scott Benefield served in the Marines in Desert Storm Desert Shield. He's now homeless and says he's never had this hard of a time finding a job. Finding work at the moment, yes, I'm finding it very difficult. Yes, so I've applied quite a bit through your normal monster or your career builder websites with not much uh, success at all. Next week, the National Veterans Small Business Conference Expo will take place here. Recruiters have 24,000 public and private sector jobs looking to be filled. An open house will be held for vets to enroll in benefits and health screenings. The hiring practices and the methods that we did 10 or even 20 years ago have changed. Um, for example, now many companies use uh, keyword searches for resumes and do automatic scanning versus having an actual person read them. James Bell, a vet, served in Vietnam. He was homeless at one point and on drugs. He turned his life around and now works at VA Hospital. He says all it takes is the help of one person. There's millions of jobs. I, I'm online every day. I'm on Indeed.com, I'm on Monster, uh, there's millions of jobs, the thing is the training, the skill level, a lot of veterans are not qualified for it. The jobs being offered will range from mortgage representatives to employees at Happy's Pizza. The big three will also be there. And the job fair will take place from June 26th through the 29th, and because the event is expected to be so huge, organizers are asking vets to pre-register. At the VA Hospital, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.